Came from the grocery store, got some salad. It's cold today. It was hot yesterday. It's cold. It was windy. Super windy in San Francisco today. I didn't check my, my tire for air pressure. I did a visual though. So hopefully that's good enough. It's just not the night shots. 10 to 18 millimeter lens. All right. What's going on back here in the storage room in the studio? Studio. Just uh, about to, I was about to pull the audio from the Tascam. So I usually just connect the Tascam to the computer via micro USB, use it as a card reader, pull the file, then I upload it to my Google Drive. And from that point, I pull it off onto my iPhone and then uh, do the editing. So I don't have a sophisticated editing software. I just use the, uh, the iMovie on the iPhone, which works for me. Doesn't have anything fancy like editing color-wise and sharpness and exposure, but it works. Did the usual today, looked around, sell sites, marketplace, Craigslist, looking for a, a cool camera with dual pixel stabilization, not stabilization, but the phase detect T7i and the 70D and up has it. No luck. I think the best I found was a 70D for, I think it was 380, 360 in San Bruno. I don't know. I did say in the last video that the 70D would be kind of heavy, but it's, I think it's 1.9 pounds. It's a little bit more heavier than the T2i. But I think I can make it work. Because what's my alternative? Use this the weighted stabilizer, which is super heavy. I think it's heavier than the camera. So getting that 70D might be worth it for number one, it has the uh, flip screen, and number B, it has the phase detect, which might be better. But then again, I I read, I watch that the uh, Canon autofocus is not that great, so it might be hunting in the background, so I might even end up not using the phase detector autofocus, but at least I'll have the flip screen. On the 10 to 18, I don't really, I don't really use the, the mirror hack. I just use it to make sure I'm in frame initially. And I think I could just fold it down because it, it, it distracts me. I end up looking at it instead of looking at the lens. So we'll see how that goes. I think it works out pretty good though. I can see myself right now if I peek peek around the corner. Nothing else today. I got a monitor wall mount off Marketplace for five dollars. Kind of on the way, kind of on the way home from work. A little off the off the path, so I had to go to the 19th Avenue Sunset area in San Francisco, which is more by the coast, by Daly City. But it was a pretty seamless transaction. Lady was pretty nice, but. That's pretty much it. You're on the task cam right now. Via Boya by M1. There was a, or there is, well it might be gone, but there's a Boya by M1 lab mic with a bag for sale in San Bruno, $10. I don't know if I should pounce on that. I already have one. Would having two be any benefit to me? I don't know. I think what would be benefit for me is getting the uh, the dongle or the 3.5 to lightning adapter for the iPhone. Just have one in, in the studio and one in the in the go bag. Because it seems like I look for that the most. Now I have one, a generic one that converts lightning to headphone. That's what I originally got it for. But it doesn't work for input microphone wise. So that only goes out, I guess. But yeah. Pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.